Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing beautifully well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got new from Shaden eBay. Uh, in a book I recently read, all four of the aircraft carriers catapult put out of action by enemy ordnance. So this is presumably fiction. Repairs would require some time-consuming work in ship. Has a modern aircraft carrier ever been attacked, RC, do you think? In real life? Wouldn't that be an interesting video to do? think so mm. repairs would require time consuming work in the shipyard so the CAG decided to launch the air wing off full length of the deck without the catapults the F-18 Sea Hornets launched with 3,000 pounds of fuel which is basically nothing why, why even bother launching and the Rhinos launched with 4,000 pounds same thing they ran the aircraft from the next to, they ran the aircraft from next to the LSO platform down the center line with a 40 knot wind on the bow. So, 40 knot headwind, I think that means. Can you see if this is possible and how much extra fuel or weapons you can manage to launch with? This is literally if you had to create the perfect video for Grim Reapers to test. Shaden eBay has got it. Let's go and find out, RC. We've got a supercarrier is running at exactly 30 knots. And there is also a headwind of 10 knots, giving us a total of 40 knots wind, bow wind, over the carrier, as stipulated by the valued uh, viewer. We've got here six aircraft to try out. The FA-18C, we've had to replace the Rhino with the F-14B, okay? And we've got the fuel loads all measured out here. We've got FA-18C with a full internal fuel load, F-14B with a full internal fuel load, uh, the FA-18C with the half fuel load, 50% fuel load. The F-14B or the Rhino with a half fuel load. We've got the FA-18C with a low fuel load. That's a 3,000 as stipulated in the by the, 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 the requester. And the Rhino with 4,000 pounds. To that, we are going to add what we're going to call a quote-unquote standard uh, loadout. Okay, and we'll see how we go. A, a usable, useful loadout. What are we doing? We're going to the back of the carrier, and then we're going to decide okay. on an air-to-air load... Uh, well, just a generic loadout that we can do. I'm going to get these wings unfolded. Yep. Sorry, guys. They, they knew what they signed up for, RC. They knew what they signed up for. Don't you worry about them. Right, I'm going to turn around. Tom will have a problem this. You don't think the Tomcat will have a problem? No, it's got a great, no. great wings for this. Big glider wings. And it's got huge engines. It has. It does have huge engines, I see. Right, I'm already having problems just turning this thing around. I was just getting a feel for the turning circle to see what she could do. One thing I don't want to do is go off and the edge. That would be, a va that would be embarrassing mm. for me and the valued viewers. And the carrier is a huge tract of land. It is. All the room in the world. All the room in the world, as the Irish used to say. Yes. Right, let's go and have a look at a sexy loadout, shall we? I guess I'm going with a full air-to-air -air loadout, RC. Um, so... Oh, you are? I mean, I'm, I mean, what would the Tomcat be useful for? A big air-to-air -air loadout? Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Weren't they just ferry these planes? Oh, did they go and read it quickly? I didn't read that. So we've been arguing about whether we're going up the stores or not, and we're not sure. The user hasn't clearly specified whether we're for stores or not. So I think we go with full stores and on each All one. Right. So I'm going full air to air, apart from bags, with my 4,000 pound Rhino. Stand by, arming up. Okay, slight change of plan. I've gone up with fuel tanks, but they're empty fuel tanks because um, we can get them refueled from the 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 you know the naval tanker up there. Okay, so fully loaded at 4,000 pound Rhino. Are you ready to watch this, RC? Ready. Brakes on. There goes Notton. Come on, baby. Oh, the power of RC! We're going to go supersonic by the time we get here at the end. Unbelievable yeah, no aeroplane. So powerful. So, 4,000 pound Rhino, woochie woot, full air to air loadout. This thing can stand on its tail and go up to Mars, it's ridiculous. Right, beat that. Okay, we've now got RC with 3,000 pounds in the tank. We've got one, two, three, four. Wow, 10 AMRAM. Jesus, that thing's a truck. RC, you've not got anywhere near the back of the carrier. <laughs> no, 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 no. Jesus Christ. 
and two sidewinders. So it's, I mean, it's still a heavy. That's a bloody heavy loadout. Those uh, Amrams are 150 plus kilos each. And one of the reasons I don't like the green button so much is it's got no power. Its engines are a bit like your old grandma blowing through a straw. And I don't reckon it's going to have the poo up. Put it in combat mode. You're going to put it in combat mode. <laughs> how, how exciting, I see. Tiny, weedy little engines. Air, air. I can't get any air. Wow. Cheap mode installed or what? I was 140 by the time I got to that the That was cheating. I don't reckon they could ever do that. Right, next we're going, I'm fully ready. <laughs> Hello, I'll see, can I help you at all? You're so skeptical. I'm not skeptical, I'm realistic. Okay, valued uh, members, next we've got half fuel. Now in the 14, or in the Rhino, that is, wait for it. Don't know, can't remember where the fuel counter, there it is. It is 8,000 pounds by the looks of it. 8,000 pounds, plus all my usual loadout and empty tanks. Okay, 8,000 pounds, Rhino, with full air-to-air -air loadout. I am, uh, yeah, I am. Watch this. I don't think it's gonna get a Oh, I'm skidding, I'm skidding. The power, the power of the cat. The power of the cat, RC, oh, is like oh. nothing you've ever experienced. Look at that, and I'll just go straight up, I'll see. I'll just go up like this all day. Sweet, I bust my gear. You do that. Fancied it. What a sexy machine. Okay, you valued viewers, we're off for our next round. So you're at half gas, so you know, I'll see. Check the yes. IP, you see how many pounds, poundages that is. Stand by looking at each other. Oh, heavens, don't look at it while you're going off the edge. It would be about 6,000. 6,000 pounds on the Eagle? It's, uh, it? 50, I'm sorry, 5,300. That's hardly anything. You and your tiny little aeroplane with tiny engines, this okay. tiny fuel capacity. Okay, I'll see. Fire at wheel. Your flaps are not fully down, just so you know, like they were last time. We need some flaps there. There we go. All the lift, guys, all the lift. I can right. fly 100 Here knots. Look at that! Even with your tiny little pretend engines, your tiny little child safe toy engines, Greta friendly quiet engines, you can still take off. That is unfair. That is the big W bias. I'm, I'm calling that ours big W bias. Destroy those ear holes with 60% sound. Get ready. Are you ready, RC? 16,000 pounds. Watch what the big girl can do. Rev them up, boys. Jeez! The jeez! Power! 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 Oh, she's heavy! Oh. But there's no problem! Uh, there was never any just doubt. Like, uh, just like catapult. There it is. Why do we even bother with all this time we've bothered with catapults? Why even bother? Full loadout, full fuel, full everything. And then vertically straight up like a freaking strike eagle. I mean a streak eagle. Okay, how much gasoline have you got? About 10,000, isn't it? 10,600. Tiny, puny little tank. Okay, full gas in a Hornet, full air to air loadout, and you're ready to go, I'll see. Ready. I can see this thing dropping off the edge like a stone. Those tiny little nozzles, why even bother putting engines on it? You're so mean. Oh, there's a green button. Oh, the gear! The gear! Damn! I, hit the... I gave him an RC headache. Okay. Oh yeah, I got a little problem, huh? Damn it! That's all right. Well, that was a really good uh, little test there. We've discovered that. Uh, I mean, DCS is a game slash sim. At the end of the day, no, it's not 100% realistic, but it's considered in the sphere the most realistic thing for these planes. So it's as good as your, you know, as anyone's going to get. It turns out that the Hornet and the F-14 
B, which is as close as we're going to get to the Rhino, can take off with full fuel and full ordnance with absolutely no problems at all with a 40 knot bow wind.